Hey there, welcome to another video. This time I'm just uh, doing a little vlog. I um, uh, just wanted to give you guys a channel update, what's coming up soon for this channel. And I also wanted to kind of celebrate kind of an anniversary kind of thing. What do I mean by anniversary? Well, I didn't really know this until Facebook pointed it out to me. Because Facebook does this thing where they show you posts that you might have posted on your Facebook account a year ago. And they did that today for my Facebook account. And they showed me a post that I posted a year ago on today's date. You know, on, on the 16th. But on, on, on June 16th to 2015. And that was where I was... Uh, wrote a quick little post uh, saying that I was really thankful and grateful for reaching over 6,000 subscribers. And I thought that really put things into perspective at how much my channel has grown in a year. Now, I understand for certain, certain YouTubers, over 2,000 subs after a year is nothing. But for me personally, that's a lot. That's a pretty high amount for me. So... I just wanted to make this quick video to basically let you guys in on what I got planned for the channel uh, for probably like the rest of the summer and also just my way of personally thanking you, uh, thanking all of my subscribers past and present for supporting me and my channel. I really do appreciate that and um, over 8,400 subscribers in uh, span of, yeah, you know, it's been a while, but it's just, I've been doing something right lately because my subs have been climbing exponentially, uh, recently, which I really, really do appreciate. So, um, thank you. I, you know, even to the subscribers and I know some people say things like, Oh, you know, it's probably, you know, a bunch of bots and whatever, you know, sub to your channel and whatever, but yeah, you know, to me, it still means a lot to me. I'll take whatever I can get. I'll take whatever subs I can get. And I can't really tell for sure whether these new subs are bots or not. Um, to, for me personally, it's my channel. If there's just a handful of people who like my videos and comment on them, that's fine with me. Or watch them, that's fine with me. I mean, that's more than enough for me personally. Because I tend to do this stuff for pers my personal enjoyment and hopefully for, you know, hopefully these videos are entertaining to other people. I know some people don't like them, and that's fine. I mean, just like with anything, not everything's everyone's going to be everyone's cup of tea. But I do appreciate the people who have been with me from, like, the very beginning. And the people who have who've, uh, subbed to me very recently and been very nice. And been, uh, left a lot of nice comments and, and liked my videos and watched them and stuff like that. I really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say that just wanted to kind of just say, thanks. I, I've done that before in other videos, but I really thought today would be a good time to really do that again, because it is like, it's kind of an anniversary. Like I reached 6,000 subscribers last year on this date and now I have gotten over 2000 more. So that's, that's a pretty good, uh, for me personally, that's a pretty good uh, growth rate, and I hope uh, hope you guys enjoy the other uh, videos that I have. Uh, um, ah, other videos that I have uh, set up in the future, and um, yeah. So speaking of other videos, that's what I'm going to get into. I'm going to tell you guys what the plans are for uh, the upcoming videos now. First off, I will be posting the box office fails and unedited in the unedited format sometime soon. I just need to put them into my uh, video editors, my video editing software, and get everything edited and stuff like that. It's all going to be all in one go. There's two parts. Uh, part one is like over three hours, or might be even longer than that. I completely forgot how long they are. They're they're really long though, folks. But uh, people did express interest, so I'm going to post those. I'm going to say this, though. There are some of the box office fails that we already talked about uh, that 
are on the channel already, so there might be a little bit of deja vu, but there's other ones that we I didn't get around to editing. So, but I don't know which ones I didn't get around to editing, and I had to remove some too because of copyright reasons. But anyway, yeah, they're going to be long, but you know, you can sit down and listen to it all in one go, or you can download it and then uh, convert it to an MP3 and listen to it that way. Um, whatever way you want to do it is fine. Um, there isn't going to be a lot of pictures or anything. There's just going to be a title that says Box Office Fails Volume 1 and Box Office Fails Volume 2 because, you know, that's just a lot of editing. And uh, forgive me, but I, I hope you guys enjoy it regardless. I know people have asked about it. I have another one I did with Matt. Just like Box Office Fails, we did one called Useless Franchises. And I posted a couple uh, segments of that uh, where we talked about the Alien films and we talked about Amity the Amityville films. Now, we talked about other film, other franchises as well. I just didn't get around to editing and posting those particular uh, parts of that uh, podcast. So if you are curious about hearing that, that full unedited podcast where we talked about franchises that we consider to be useless or franchises that I consider to be useless, uh, please let me know. Also, I wanted to talk about uh, something I have sort of Ghostbusters related, which I'm going to be doing in the week leading up to the release of the reboot. I'm going to be doing a shorter, uh, to the more to the point videos talking about why I love Ghostbusters and why I love Ghostbusters 2 and why I think it's underrated. I've done multiple videos and reviews on Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2 on my channel, but they're like really long and in depth. And I thought it kind of, kind of, cut it down a little bit to a more condensed format uh, so people can know exactly why I love Ghostbusters and I'm actually going I'm gonna watch the movies again and I'm gonna like write notes and stuff like that and I'm gonna have a structure to the to the uh, particular uh, video where I'm gonna have like okay this is why I think it's good this is why I love it and I'm just gonna go through each particular uh, topic that I, I've written down and then uh, talk about it and hopefully in condensed detail I don't want it to be a 50 minute video that's that's not the point and then I also want to check out this fan cut that a fan made where he did a fan cut of the cutscenes and part of the gameplay from Ghostbusters the video game and he put it together in sort of a movie and it's like three and a half hours but I still want to watch it because I'd rather watch that than the reboot. And um, I think it'd be a fun thing to actually watch and try to review. Uh, so expect that. That's definitely going to be something different. And um, and I want to ask you guys personally this. Okay. Because it seems to me that any time I talk about Paul Fagg or I talk about the Ghostbusters reboot, I, I get likes, I get at least a thousand views on a video, and it seems like people really do tend to, I don't know, tend to like to, he like to hear what I have to say about this reboot. So what I was thinking about is, because in the week leading up to the reboot, I'm going to be doing the Ghostbusters, why I love Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2 videos, the review of the fan cut of the video game turned into, you know, Ghostbusters, the video game, the movie, or Ghostbusters 3. And, um, I was also, and maybe I might do a little kind of playthroughs of something like a little bit of some of the games, the Ghostbusters games. So I might do that too. That might be kind of a fun thing to do as well. But with the reboot, I do have three free movie tickets. Okay. They, I can get into any movie for free. I don't have to pay anything to see it. So... And I don't think much of a much of a percentage of the you know, free movie ticket goes to the theater. I mean, it goes to the theater, but I don't think it goes to the studio that much. But regardless, there's ways for me to be able to see the film for free. And I saw Robocock in the theater. I saw that in IMAX because I was doing Robo Robocop month. I was doing Robo month, and I just it just. It was since I'm a huge fan of Robocop, it just felt like it was something that I had to do. It's like I had to do this for the sake of the channel and, you know, for the sake of my sanity kind of thing. Just get it over with as soon as possible. So I've thought about that with this Ghostbusters reboot, but 
I, I don't know about it yet because I know I've said like, oh, I'm not going to pay to see it. In this instance, I wouldn't be paying to see it. Um, so I'm not paying full price to see it if I do end up doing this. And, um, you know, wait for a bootleg or whatever. But who knows? There might, might, there might not be a good cam. That might be one of those movies where a good cam doesn't show up and, and until like months and months later. So what I was one what I was wanting to ask you guys and gals if there's any gals who watch these videos uh is do you want me to see the Ghostbusters reboot? Are you interested or curious to see my thoughts on it? And the eventual rant cuz I'm pretty I'm, I'm about 99% sure it's going to be a rant. I mean, I saw the recent TV spot, and it was it, this. Every trailer I see for this film just gets worse and worse. I mean, she, Melissa McCarthy shoots the ghost in the dick. How do you like that? It's like, no, I don't like it at all. I don't like it. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. Like that's just tone deaf humor that just isn't funny in the slightest. I mean, really, we we've got we've gone from really. I mean, yes, there was a dick joke in Ghostbusters, but it was so much, it was handled so much better. It wasn't random, stupid nonsense, something straight out of like an Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, this felt like pixels. This, yeah, it does. It looks like pixels. I don't want any more pixels. I, I don't want pixels too. Ghostbusters. I don't want pixels too. Uh, ghost pixels. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I just, that was a terrible trailer. That was a terrible TV spot. Shot the ghost in the dick. Great, might as well be shooting me in the dick. Because you're shooting the ghost logo in the dick. So you might as well be shooting the franchise in the dick. Which then is therefore shooting me in the dick with a proton beam. I mean, everything I've seen about this movie makes me want to cause a full proton reversal of myself and everyone else involved with this project. But. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there, folks. If you are curious and you really do want to see my thoughts on the film and the eventual rants video on it, leave a comment down below saying, yes. Yes, I want to see the rant. I want to see the review. I, I want to see you do it. And I will be more than willing to do it for you guys. I'll be more than willing to suffer through the reboot. Uh, for you guys because and even if it's just a handful of people who vote yes, that's more than enough for me because It's kind of in a way it could be my way of giving back to you and Also, you know giving you something that you genuinely want to see or hear and if that's what you guys want to see or hear Around the time of the release date, you know on Friday or Saturday Yeah, I'll be more than willing to you use one of my free tickets walk a, a short distance to the movie theater and and see it but um i just i don't really think i would do it right away unless people are really really curious and really want to see my thoughts on it so feel free leave a comment down below uh whether or not you want to uh, vote for me, you know, vote yes or no. I mean, you don't really know. You don't have to vote no. But really, I'm not asking you to vote yes or no. I'm saying mainly it's just a yes. I'm, I've been saying, do you, do, is it yes? And if it's a no, don't even bother commenting. But if it's a yes, please comment. Um, and if you want to comment about, you know, no, I don't want you to go through that, then that's fine too. But um, I'm definitely curious to see you uh, what you guys think. I mean, I did the sisters rant. I wasn't thinking about doing that video, but enough people asked me to do it. So I did it. So, um, yeah. So anyway, uh, that's not all that's coming though. And that's kind of down the road. Uh, what's coming very soon is the third part of my trading card collection video. I delayed it for a while because this is a really big box of trading cards, but I think it'd be fun to do because, I mean, there's like Hellraiser trading cards, there's Bill and Ted trading cards, there's X-Files trading cards in there, there's uh, Fangoria trading cards in there. There's just a whole smorgasbord of all different types of trading cards. It's a really, really, it's going to be a really, I think it's going to be a really cool video because there's so many different types of trading cards in there. Um, and then I will also... 
when I get a few things shipped uh, out to me, then I'll do another uh, VHS DVD Blu-ray update video, but that's a little bit down the road. And I am also going to be reviewing some more 2016 films. I talked about these before, but uh, this is this is a definite. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of put off on Hardcore Henry and Civil War. I'm gonna go into those after I do some horror related stuff because Conjuring Two just came out recently, so I want to get into some horror. Uh, I saw The Darkness. I, I have one word to describe the movie, and it's forgettable. That's really it's 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 gonna be it's not much of a rant. It's gonna be a review, but I don't like the movie, but it didn't piss me off. So stay tuned for that. And then I'm going to check out The Witch, see what all the fuss is about it, uh, I, I see if it's worth the hype. Uh, I know there was a couple other subscribers of mine who actually asked me about what my thoughts were on the film. So, yeah, it's a little bit delayed, but you, you'll get to hear my thoughts on the film pretty soon. And then I want to watch it and review The Conjuring again, because um, last time I did that, it was uh, one of those like three-part reviews with like a not very good camera, and I, I just think I've become a much better uh, reviewer since then. So, and I want to watch the film again and see if it holds up. So I'm gonna watch that, review it again, all in one go, and then I'm gonna check out Conjuring Two, so you get to see hear my thoughts on the sequel. And then after that, then I will get to uh, Civil War and Hardcore Henry, and then after those. I want to talk about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies, the live action films, and, and the animated one, the CGI animated one. I want to talk about the 1990 film, which is a big part of my childhood, and I really like it. I did review that years ago, but I had to remove it due to copyright reasons. I want to do a long, in-depth retrospective on that film. That review will be however long it's going to be, because I really, really, really love that film. And then I want to do one on, on uh, Turtles 2, which I think is... A, underrated sequel just like Ghostbusters 2 so much so I almost said Ghostbusters 2 there for a second and of course I'll check out Turtles 3 again and see if it holds up and or if it's as bad not really holds up see if it's as bad as I remember it being the last time I saw it check out Team and T and I don't have Turtles forever and I don't really have much connection because I didn't really grow up with the cartoon and I didn't really grow up with the 2004 cartoon so I, I would be kind of an outsider it would be a total outsider's perspective of the, the whole special, the finale. So I, I really don't think I'll probably watch and review that. But um, yeah, and then for, as for the the reboot, I'm not watching that shit again. I'm not I'm not reviewing that again. You want to hear my thoughts on the 2014 film? You can just look it up. I'm not not watching that again. I'm not giving that a second chance. We gave Man of Steel a second chance. Yeah, I did, but. I'm not doing that with the tur with the 2014 Turtles movie. Out of the Shadows, I'll I'll see it if it's on a cam somewhere, and the only cam that's floating around is like really shitty quality. So unless something shows up that isn't really that bad quality, then you have to wait on a review or rant of that. But I will. I promise I will watch it sometime, and there will be a review or rant of the movie sometime. And then after that, I do want, I want to uh, tackle another uh, kids' uh, martial arts franchise, Three Ninjas. I reviewed some of those films a long time ago, but I want to re-review them. Uh, once again, just like the Turtles films, I had to remove certain uh, videos because of copyright. And I also, you know, I, I want to watch the first Three Ninjas again. I want, I want to see how it holds up as an adult. And... Uh, see if the sequels are as bad as I remember them being. I know High Noon to Mega Mountain is definitely going to be just as bad as I remember it being. But, you know, it's just something I just want to do. I have all four films on DVD now, and I didn't have them before when I did the video. And when I did the video, it was like three or four years ago, and it was once again with a crappy camera. So I wanted I want to redo those videos, and they're in multiple parts, or they're like really short. So I, I want to do... Especially the first three ninjas, I want I want to be as uh, in depth on that as I possibly can because I still like that movie. I watched that film one, last time I saw it, I liked it, and I, I still like three ninjas, and I'm actually looking forward to watching that again. Rocky loves Emily. Rocky loves. Uh, anyway, um, so the, yeah, so those are you're gonna do the turtles and the three ninjas films. I know people are curious about Karate Kid. I might do that. I might do that after three ninjas. Um, just some fun summer stuff to do. These really seem like perfect summer movies to re franchises to review. 
And then I will go into probably try to finish up. I'll try to work on do some more uh, 80s horror films. I put off that kind of uh, that marathon for a bit because I think there's like three films that are going to come that are next on the list. I think they're all going to be shitty. So I'm really, really not kind of just trying to watch movies and review films that I really want to. So, but I'll get to those maybe sooner rather than later, but I'll definitely get back on that. And I do want to finish the Wes Craven marathon. And, uh, but I also definitely sometime this summer after, probably after the Turtles, Three Ninjas, and maybe Karate Kid, because that's another franchise people have asked me about and want to, uh, hear my thoughts on the films. And, um, after that, after those franchises, I'll go into a, a fantasy marathon. Uh, so, uh, which is a big, uh, sort of my gift to Jonathan Lindsay, who sent me a bunch of stuff, which I'm really very grateful for. Thanks so much. And, uh, he wants to hear my thoughts on some of the films he sent me. So I'll probably do that sometime as well this summer. And there's also, I do someday in the future, sometime this year, I do want to do a Q and A because I've never done one before. And my friend is my friend has done one, but my friends have done them, and it sounds like it sounds like fun. So, and I think that'd be another way to get back to you guys. So, I I, I don't really have a definite date of when I want to do that, but um, I'll definitely let you know uh, when it's going to happen. And I would like to do a request month sometime as well, but that the thing with that is there's going to be so many requests, and I don't know if I could possibly you know, get to them all during the month, but I'd have to pick and choose stuff, but, you know, that, but, you know, I, 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 I that's something I might wait for until I get to 10,000 subscribers, and if, if this keeps up, if this pace keeps up, that I, my, my subs have been climbing, I can get to 10,000 subscribers pretty soon, which is mind-blowing to me, it really is. I can't believe that. I can't believe that that's an attainable goal for my channel and for me. And I know for a lot of people, like a lot of YouTubers, this chump, chump subscribers is nothing. Who cares? 10,000 subscribers is not a big deal. For me, that's just huge. That would be a huge milestone for me. And if I do ever reach that point, I I, I guarantee I will do a request month. Um, but anyway, um, once again, thank you to all my subscribers, past and present, for supporting me and my channel for all for however long I've been on here, and uh, and I hope you guys enjoy whatever uh, content I come up with next. And stay tuned. I uh, you know I think the darkness review is going to come up pretty soon, as well as review the witch, and uh, anyway, and the trading card video and stuff like that. And anyway, as always. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. See ya.